To put a face to some of those options we just discussed, in my server manager here on the dashboard, if I wanted to add roles or features, just add capability to my server, you can do that directly from the dashboard. You can also go to manage and add roles and features is here in the list. If you wanted to uninstall a role or feature on your server, you can go to remove. If you wanted to create a server group, there's an option here to create a server group. I'm gonna name this Paris. We'll pretend we have an office in Paris. So I'll create a server group named Paris. That shows up in the list. Now I could simply right click, edit this server group, and I could browse Active Directory or even by IP address, and I could add any server I wanted to this group. So once I do that, now when I click on Paris, that server shows up in the list. So you could organize this however you choose, by location, and you would see all those servers that you have added to that Paris server group, they show up in the list. So really just a form of organization. If we go back to the dashboard, I can also see for roles, I can see file and stored services. I only have one server with that installed. Now I only have one server period, but if you had five file servers, this would just have a number five and you could see all your file servers. I could see they're all online. Well, you'll see these are red here, like my local server. If I click on that, it tells me my downloaded maps manager has stopped. So that should be running for whatever reason, it's not. I don't care because I'm not using maps for anything, but it just gets your attention if a service fail the starts or you have any similar type problem. I can also go to tools and I can see my full list of administrative tools. So server manager is really your focal point for all administration. Almost anything you need to do, you can do directly from this server manager itself. If I select local server, very similar to system properties. Now I know we came here earlier when we wanted to name the computer. If you want to join a domain or leave a domain and go back to a work group, if you want to work with the Windows firewall, I can enable remote desktop. I can manage my IP settings. I can also see a subset of my events. So right now this is showing 19 total events. But notice they're all errors or warnings. So this is actually configurable. If I go to tasks and configure event data here, you can see it's only going to show critical error and warning events that occurred over the past 24 hours. Now that's adjustable to whatever you like. You can even define which event logs it actually pulls from. So very configurable. If we keep scrolling down here, I can also see my services. So this is a list of the 203 services on my local machine. I can see the name of every service. I can see the status. So I can see what service is running, what service is stopped. From here, I can even right click and I could choose to start a service. If it's already running, you could stop it, you could restart. So you have some management control over services directly from this view. There's also a best practices analyzer. I could start a scan and it would look at all the roles and all the features you have installed on your server and it would make recommendations if any of those are not configured based on Microsoft's best practices. If I keep going down, there's also performance. Now with this, I can actually configure these performance alerts here and I can go to my server and I can start performance counters. Now this is only looking at CPU usage and memory, but you could just get a snapshot of that right here in the interface. And you can also see all the roles and features installed on your server. You could actually remove a role or feature directly from here. Or if I go to tasks, you'll see there's also the option to add roles and features directly from here. So one thing that's true about the server manager, there's a lot of overlap in capability. Like there's several places you could go to add or remove a role or feature. It's a lot of overlap in a lot of these different options they have here. But that's the local server. 
if you go to all servers, this will just give you a collective view of all the servers in the environment. You can add those here, just like we added those to a server group, but I could add any servers I want directly to this view. File and storage services. Now we're not really concerned with this right now, but it's always in the list where this will show you my local server. So that's the machine I'm on, but I can see all the disks on that machine. I can see the capacity. I can see information related to the partition, the volumes on it. So just information related to storage, but that's always in the list by default, this file and storage uh, services. So a very useful tool and we will spend a lot of time in server manager itself.